everyone. So today I am going to do another single review, except it's not just one song. I'm just, I guess, kind of doing a roundup type video, basically talking about a few of the singles that came out in the past week or so, or at least in the past few days as of me filming this. The first one I'm going to talk about today is Distant by Sleep On It is the lead single off of their upcoming album Overexposed and that comes out November 3rd I believe through Equal Vision Records. Now my impression on first listen was that it was just a really catchy song. I really liked the guitar parts. And it's just a song that I really enjoyed so naturally I bought it and after a few listens coming back to it I think it's definitely a bit reminiscent of the older stuff that they did on their previous EP, Lost Along the Way. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. But it does kind of show them staying, I guess, going on the same path that they did with the EP, in a way. But at the same time, I guess kind of experimenting a little bit more especially a little bit with the lyrical content, like the lyrical content in the chorus is a little bit darker. So yeah, the lyrical content was a big part of why I really like this song, not to mention it. Like I said before, it is very, very catchy. I really like the instrumentation, and overall, it's a pretty good lead single. Next up is Trouble by Sleeping With Sirens, and it is, I think, the fourth single off of the new album Gossip, which comes out September 22nd, which is not too far from now. Out of the four things that have been released, including this one, I've only heard this and I've heard Legends, which was the lead single, and I did not listen to Empire to Ashes, I did not listen to Cheers, I haven't listened to either of those yet, and I probably, at this point, I'm probably going to wait till the album comes out. Out of the two singles I've heard so far, this one leans more towards the rock side. I'm not saying like rock like what they used to do with their previous albums, because like, what they've been releasing sounds definitely poppier. I haven't heard any like screaming or anything like I feel like with this album it's not going to go in the direction that it has been going <laughs> and I think it's a good thing that they're changing up their sound and adding a bit more variety I guess um but this song definitely sounds more rock-ish than Legend which was a very very poppy song like told, not hitting on it by any means like I thought it was a, I thought it was an okay song I thought it was pretty catchy I liked it but this song I definitely like more as far as the sound goes, as far as the musicality of it goes. It seems more to the alternative rock side, I guess, if I had to put a label on it. I, I thought the song was pretty good. I like the instrumentation on it. And I would like the lyrical theme that the band was trying to go for with the lyrical content in this song in particular. But personally, I thought this song was pretty good. My favorite out of the songs I've listened to so far. And I'm actually quite curious to see what the band does with the rest of the record. The final track I'm going to talk about is Doomsday, which is the new surprise track from Arctex. Uh, as far as I know, it's not off an upcoming EP or album or anything like that. They just, out of the blue, out of nowhere, just surprised everyone and dropped this song on the internet. And thanks to Christian Doyle and a couple other people, but him especially because he talks about them quite a bit on his channel, I figured, okay, I need to go listen to them. I did. And now I really like them. <laughs> so as soon as I got the chance, I listened to this song and it honestly surprised me a little bit. I mean, the beginning of it, at least vocally, is a bit more melodic. Like you hear a bit more singing from their vocalist and instead of the screaming that's usually heard through the verses of a lot of the songs because from what i've heard of their music uh, a lot of this is like screaming shouted kind of vocals and then singing usually in the chorus this time is kind of flip-flopped it's singing in the verse well and um also the chorus a little bit but there is a lot of screaming throughout or shouted vocals as well throughout the song. I think the instrumentation, specifically the guitar parts, and I'm not saying that just because I also play guitar, I think instrumentally it's really really good and it's definitely a mix of just kind of going to what they've done in the past like vocally and instrumentally and stuff but also just kind of mixing things up a bit vocally like giving their singer more clean vocals and a chance to sing a bit more and 
I don't want to say that it doesn't sound exactly like anything I've heard before and I, by them, and I think that's a good thing, just kind of feeling like th that the band is changing things up a bit. So yeah, I really, really like this song, and if they do put more music out in the future, I'd definitely be interested in hearing that as well. So, that was a quick little single review roundup type of thing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.